All right, everyone, I thought that I would do just a little quick video based around the current situation at the moment. As a lot of you well know, quite a large percentage of the population have now just been asked to work from home. Now, this is a situation that many, many people have never been in before. And as someone who has done this a little bit myself, um, I thought I'd offer some of my five top tips to get the most out of your work from home experience. So without blabbering on for too long, let's get straight into them. Tip number one is really simply to just start your morning the same. If you have some sort of morning routine, keep doing that morning routine. It's really important for both our minds and our bodies that we keep to that normal routine that we've set ourselves to set us up for the working day. Get up at roughly the same time that you get up at, have a shower, brush your teeth, have breakfast, do all the things that you would normally do to get ready for your work day. But most importantly, and I cannot stress this enough, most importantly, get dressed. When we're sitting at home all day, it's really easy just to try and do our work as normal, but in our pajamas. That is terrible psychologically for us because psychologically we tell ourselves that we are resting, that we are relaxing, and that we are not being productive and working. So get dressed. Even if it's not on your normal work clothes, just get into something a little bit more formal, jeans and a hoodie, something like this. Which brings me really nicely on to tip number two. Tip number two is just to choose a workspace in your house and keep that your workspace. Just pick a space in your house, set it up for work, and have it for work alone. Now obviously, ideally, it would be a little bit of a desk, kind of like I've got here, but if you don't have space to set up a desk in your house just to work from home, then of course you can just do it on a kitchen table or a counter or something like that. However, what I would say is that if you're going to do that, a great tip is to make sure that you set up for work at the beginning of the day, but then pack it all away at the end of the day as well. Again, this just psychologically separates your work and your life, leaving that surface, that area, that kitchen table, whatever it might be, clear to just go about its daily business in the evenings. I think it's also worth mentioning here that although you do need a dedicated space to work in, that should not be your bedroom or your bed. I think, and in fact a lot of studies have shown, that if you use your bedroom or your bed as a place of work, then you can start to struggle with sleep and things like that as well. Because psychologically, again, you can't separate the two. It needs to be a place that you can stand up and walk away from once you're finished work. Which seg segues me quite, segues me quite, that's quite a difficult word to say. Segway, 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 segway. Which segues me quite conveniently into my next point, point number three, which is to keep to regular working hours. Now obviously it doesn't have to necessarily be your regular working hours, but make sure that you do things at a regular pace. So for example, set a time for lunch and have lunch at that time. Set a time to finish your work day and finish your work day at that time. Especially when you're working from home, it can be quite difficult at times to keep that discipline in working when you're supposed to be working. So just by setting a bit of a schedule, a normal working schedule to your work from home days, you'll find that you keep your productivity up and you keep your wasted time down as well. The kind of time you spend just standing up, walking to the kitchen, opening in the fridge and just staring in it blankly for 10 minutes. Which moves us on to point number four. Point number four is really simply just not to try multitasking. Especially when we're working from home, again, it can be so easy to try and just pick up little jobs here and there, little household jobs that you haven't completed yet. Maybe you're the kind of person that's thinking to yourself, oh, what a convenient time to keep going with those loads of laundry that I've been falling behind on. However, now is not the time to do this. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with taking a little break, but don't let that distract you from being productive. After all, you wouldn't be doing these chores if you were at work anyway. Which last but not least brings me on to point number five, which is again really simply just to make sure that we're checking in with each other. I think this point's especially important at the moment when everyone's working from home, but just because we're working from home doesn't mean necessarily that we have to work and be lonely with it. Now, of course, you should be making sure that you regularly check in with your team, your colleagues, but also make sure you check in with your friends, family, things like that. It's easy enough to jump on a FaceTime chat with someone and just see how they're doing, uh, chat to people in your group chats, or even just do something as simple as send a meme to lighten the mood. Everyone's a bit uncertain at the moment, so just do your part to check in on your friends, family, and work colleagues. 
Well, there you have it, my top five tips for working from home. I hope you found some of these useful. I hope that some of them are maybe things that you've maybe not considered or thought about before. If you did enjoy these, then let me know. If you think of any other tips that you think would be useful for people to know, pop them here as well. And also just let me know if you enjoyed this video. This is the kind of first one of these that I've done um, and I don't really know what I'm doing. So if you enjoy the way it's filmed, the way I've uh, spoken, things like that, do let me know. Um, I've got a bit more time on my hands, as most of us do, so I might be doing a few more of these in the future. Have an amazing time working from home. Enjoy it while you've got the opportunity to try something different. View this as an opportunity to get stuff done that you otherwise wouldn't have got done. And I will see you all on the other side.